I'm going to say this. A lot of people seen the video. It was a few seconds. And Junior, they seen you walking by. Um, we understand that, uh, you know, Quavo, Takeoff, they was down here with y'all. But they seen you walking by. He's, he's laying on the ground. You got Mike bending down, and they seen you walking by. What, what, what took place there? This is the crazy thing about the video, right, is one scenario is that they see Mike on the ground trying to help take off. But in the video, Mike was right behind me. People didn't peep that. People think that I'm the one who had a voice. I mean, I'm the one who was speaking in the video when I wouldn't. If you go back and look at the video, Mike is walking right behind me. They took three seconds of a situation where I was caught on video and turned it into what they wanted it to be. But in our actuality, we had been there for a while. Mike was following me so we can go to the restroom so he can uh, wash the blood off his hands and so he can enlighten me to what transpired because I wasn't even out there when this transpired. I was inside paying a bill. So I had no knowledge of what had transpired outside. As I'm walking to the, I had just got done paying the bill. As I'm walking to the door, I hear gunshots. And then I also hear bullets coming through the glass. So I got out the way because I was almost at the door. So I ended up getting out the way. And sadly, what had taken place had taken place. But in that three-second clip, it was me and Mike walking to the restroom so he can wash the blood off his hands and so he can enlighten me to what transpired outside. It was rumors that after all this occurred, you was the one that took Quavo and them to the hospital. Y'all still was together after that. I stayed, I stayed with Quavo. We stayed out there probably like two or three hours together before we all parted ways and made sure each other was cool. Like, me and him stayed out there. Like, uh, one other person pulled up, but it was me and him that stayed out there for hours after this transpired, so. Yeah, so it's just interesting how, you know, one can take a three-second lie, you know what I mean, and, and contaminate, you know, a bunch of uh, uh, damn fools that believe anything that they see. And when in, in actuality, as you can see, these two, was with Quavo, you know what I mean, from beginning and end to end. They dropped him off. They never left his side, you know, because here's the thing. Takeoff is not the only one got hit that night, you know what I mean? A friend of, of ours daughter got hit in the head, you know, so somebody could have been mad about that and wanted to come back and, and do some things. So they was there with, with the homie, and whenever he... Uh, decide to speak, he going to validate everything we're saying. Quavo, you know what I mean? Because he know he was never abandoned. He know he was never disrespected. He know every time he have came to Houston, it's been nothing but love and respect. That's why he came so many times. When, when, when you hear Houston, you hear mob ties. And some people would say that it's some type of protocol for people to check in when they come to the city and this coming from a person like me and Gil we ain't never check in when we came to the city so is there supposed to be a certain protocol for people to check in no you know and I begin with me and then he can speak and they can speak for the other generation but I'm a never you know what I mean we don't have time for no sucker shit like that you know now a lot of people from the different police departments and all these different people want to insinuate like we extorting people. They have to check in. Man, that ain't no money in that shit. I, I wouldn't have. We got, I got more money than I could spend, right? So I don't want to say, go give. You, what, that shit ain't going to work. It ain't going to turn out right because real niggas ain't going to have that no way. You know, check in, check in for what? But, but on the flip side, there is uh, what you call a... Uh, uh, a brownie point to be able to have us as friends. You know what I mean? I don't want to impose or force myself to, to uh, embrace nobody. But by the, by the same token, those that I respect and I befriend, 
there is a difference coming into the city as our friend versus by yourself. You know what I mean? And the difference is we all respect it. You know, we all respect it. And everybody with us, we're going to demand that they be respected. Yeah.